What do you do when you make it to your first trip of the year and find out you don't have heat? Well, we're going to show you. We had zero propane throughout the entire camper. Time to troubleshoot. What are you doing? I don't think we're getting any heat. It's, it sounds like it's kicking on, but there's no hot air coming out. One thing we noticed when we checked online is they say to check for propane inside the camper. So trying to ignite the stove. And that doesn't happen. It means we're not getting propane inside the camper. So we know we have full propane because I filled these up a couple weeks ago. And last night we could hear and smell propane. So what I've noticed are these are cracked. And when you move those around, you can hear the hear the change in sound. So I'm hoping that by swapping out these two things, I'm gonna do both because they're both pretty rough. These are the original lines that we've had on the camper for the past couple of years. They didn't used to have a cover on them, now we do, but apparently that's what the sun will do to them. We're gonna swap these out and see what happens. So we just got back from the store. We're gonna swap them out and see if that gets us propane inside. Well, first we need to get some of this, what is this? Teflon tape. Let's get some Teflon tape and put it on the fitting there, which, which is runs from... Into the camper and it goes into the regulator. I'm doing now. Oh, it. These we were told do not get Teflon tape because of the way that they're threaded is what we were told. They just go into the side. Okay, so I tried doing it. Kevin's gonna come in and give it a shot. Hey, Kevin has a magic touch. That's good. Now we may have heat. Not the truth. Okay, you can hear that it's cycled on. Go outside and listen. Whoosh. We have spark, we have heat. That's a good sound it's making. That means we'll be warm tonight. This side doesn't seem to be working at all. And this side's working fine. It's either the regulator or the line. Those are the only things that we replaced. The propane was spilling out of this one yesterday. Leaking out. So, it's gotta be something that we bought which isn't working properly. So as a little test, you're gonna swap the hoses? You're, you're gonna, gonna swap the hoses first. 
And if that works, then we know we have a bad hose. If it doesn't work, we have a bad regulator. Shooting out the other end. <laughs> uh. it, well, that's good. That means that we're getting gas through there. It's just flying straight out the other side. I wasn't even thinking that I have to put this one back on to test. Regulator's not broken. So switching out the hoses, we can get the oven working with this side, and now we can't with this side. So it's gotta be a problem with the hose that we just bought. Because it worked with this hose on this tank, and then when we switched it, it didn't work. Do you know what I mean? It's the hose. <laughs> so all we needed was hose was replaced. We replaced this regulator because ours is broken. A couple of wrenches and a replacement hose. Job's done. And that's why our first trip is always close to home. You never know what can go wrong or what you're going to forget. And there's always something. In this case, we happen to be close to stores where we could buy the supplies that we needed. And we were close to home so that we could sleep in our own bed with heat. So until next time, happy, happy camping. camping.